What's up you guys? So for this video, I'm going to show you how I made a TV stand for someone else. So I have a pretty big TV, so the size of this wouldn't work for mine. Either way, it didn't matter because I was going to give this to someone else and they have a smaller TV, so it was honestly the perfect size for them. However, if you do have a bigger size TV, like 55 inches and bigger, I would say to maybe make it wider. Anyway, with that said, let's just go ahead and get started. You are going to need four pieces measuring 48 inches in length, but one you'll have to cut into four pieces. So I found out that I could actually use pocket hole jigs to build a lot of my stuff, which makes it more sturdy, but you don't have to. So this one measures a half, three fourths, and one and a half, and you use this little thing to measure the thickness of the wood. That's to drill, and that also has the measurements on there. They all need to be saying the exact same thing. In order to know how far back you need to place your pocket hole jig, you need to measure the thickness of your wood and then adjust all the other pieces to match the exact same thing. So this one will say 3 fourths, that one also, because that's the thickness of the wood. These don't have to be precise, I just drew a line where I thought I would want them on both sides, since some of these pieces are going to be attached to the top and bottom. You are going to need a small clamp just to hold it in place so that it doesn't move out of place. The measurement that you choose is going to dictate how far the drill is actually going to go in. And that's how your pocket hole should look like. Then you'll just go ahead and repeat this step as many times as you need in order to connect the pieces to the boards. I am going to be using a clamp because I want it to be super secure while I'm screwing the screws in. I am going to be using the pocket hole screws and this glue. You do have to use this drill bit because it's specifically made to drill the screws in. You'll just repeat this step until you have attached the four board pieces to the actual boards. So when I had two of the pieces attached to the other board, it was time to attach it to this board on the bottom. On the bottom piece, I wanted it to be seven inches out. Top pieces are going to be 14 inches in. Okay, so now it was finally time to add the last piece. upside down because it was easier for me to attach it this way, but I have to flip it over the right side. This is how it should look. From here to here, it's 14 inches, and then the bottom is 7 inches. Now, I did use these pieces of wood for another project, so I do have to fill in the holes that were previously there. A lot cheaper than wood filler, so that's why I'm going to use that to fill the pocket holes. as well as the wood filler dry then you go in with a sandpaper that is about 220 to sand everything down and you did right from the, the last step is to really just give it a fresh coat of paint and you did right from the Voila, no visible 
couple screws. Instagram and with that said I hope you have a great day see ya